really can't overstate the importance of rice. Over one billion people derive their livelihood from rice. It represents 20% of the caloric intake for the world's population. One quarter to one third of fresh water reserves is allocated to the growing of rice in flooded fields. And when water is flooding a field, it's creating microbes that are producing methane gas. 11 to 15% of man-made methane is a result of flooded rice fields. The economics for many smallholder farmers of rice is dire. Many of them are at the bottom of the pyramid and just can't make ends meet. Any conversation about a circular economy has to take into effect people in the field who are growing the food. Food will be a defining issue of the 21st century. The problem is onboarding another billion people on the planet. We need to grow more rice on less land. We have to be very, very careful how we produce rice because with the usage of pesticide, chemical fertilizers, water depletion, yield is declining. Our soil is dying. The system of rice intensification is an agroecological way to grow rice that is regenerative in nature, getting bigger yields without proprietary seeds from multinational companies in the accompanying synthetic chemical fertilizers that go along with them. That's been adopted by about 25 million farmers. There's little changes in how rice is grown. SRI specifies younger seedling planted as a single seed in rows. The plant gets more aeration, the root develops much better so that it can harvest more nutrients to give better yield. The major difference with SRI and conventional rice growing is that the fields are not continuously flooded. There is no anaerobic condition in the soil there is no production of methane. In communities that have transitioned to SRI, the soil is drastically improved because of the microbial activity. Before we started regenerative cultivation, we have analyzed the soil. After four years, we see 50 to 70% increase in the carbon. Farmers can use 90% less seed, 50% less water, double their yields, and produce much more income. परिवर्तन हमारे परिवार में परिवर्तन ये है कि जब हमारा खर्चा कम हो रहा है तो हमें बचत भी हो रही है और हम अपने बच्चों को अच्छी जगह Lotus Foods is a specialty rice company. We're really proud that we are keeping the biodiversity of rice alive with creating markets for heirloom rices. We're creating stable supply chain that can provide food to feed the increasing population. And we have to do it by putting the carbon into the soil, not into the atmosphere. We have the fantastic farmers who understand the importance of SRI cultivation. At the same time, we have the Lotus Foods who are buying our rice to give the best quality products for the consumers around the world. As a business, we have seen that these increased costs have paid off because consumers are understanding benefits of regenerative agriculture. As Lotus Foods grew, we knew that to be successful in the marketplace, we needed to create value-added products. So, these value-added products included a rice ramen, rice pad thai noodles, rice udon noodles. So we were the first company to take rice and make a rice-based ramen. Organic SRI is inherently regenerative. We're talking about animal welfare, community, and people health. The reason why we wanted to be one of the first companies to have a regenerative organic certified rice so that we could show the world how important it was to grow rice, this amazing crop that feeds half the world's population without greenhouse gas emissions, without lots of water. Actually, it's good for business. That's the bottom line. Businesses are in the business of creating wealth, but it's not just wealth for themselves anymore. And that's where SRI comes in. It benefits the farmer, it benefits the land, it benefits the community, it benefits the consumer who eats this more nutritious rice. 
It's wealth for all stakeholders.